welcome, welcome to North Gwinnett High School. We have us a great one tonight here on SUV TV. The GHSA playoffs, the Elite Eight. We have the home team, North Gwinnett Bulldogs, taking on the visitors from Norcross, a Cross County rivalship going on, and it is a packed house, and I am so glad to be here. I am Slot the Sports Guy, and I'm joined by the one and only Coach Lewis Chester. We have an exciting matchup tonight. How you doing, Coach? Hey, very rarely do you get me to come all the way from my side of town, from Cobb County, all the way up here to North Gwinnett, but I knew this atmosphere was going to be special, and I'm glad to be here tonight. I'm telling you, you know it's a big game when we get when we get our Coach Preston to leave Preston Banner to come all the way out here to North Gwinnett. Well, we have a big one going on, a good one going on. We have Region 8 taking on Region Two teams that are familiar with each other. They're cross county rivals. They know each other well. So this should be a great matchup. Well, you know what? My main key to this game right here is we talk about for the culture, right? Norcross has championship DNA and championship culture. But if the Norcross that came out the last time I watched them play in the region championship against Burtmar comes out, this game's going to be over and we're going to have to be talking about filler time. But if North Gwinnett and Matt Garner has, from a culture standpoint, built it methodically, if he can come out, and his stars be stars. And a couple of his key five, six guy come up big for him. They're going to move on to the final four. Yes, yes, yes. You're talking about culture. You have the blue bloods, the guys who've been here before, the guys who banners, who have banners all along their walls in the gym, taking on the newcomers, North Gwinnett. Everybody thought North Gwinnett was a football school. But Coach Gardner came in and he was something special with these Bulldogs. You know what? I've already had my popcorn. I've already drank half my Coke because I need my energy for this. I'm just ready for them to get the anthem going, and let's get this thing popping. Breda Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B-R-E-D-A, Pest.com. Get more from your box score with Cerebro Sports, the official analytics partner of SUV TV. Start with stats with Cerebro Sports and make every game count. Visit CerebroSports.com for more information and check us out at all SUV TV events. Hi, I'm Dominique Wilkins and welcome to my backyard and CBA Sports. At CBA Sports, we create family fun and a lifetime of memories. From our custom-built court systems, putting greens, synthetic lawn, to complete outdoor living spaces. From a single court to your own backyard fantasy, we can do any or all to accommodate your yard, your budget, and your lifestyle. As president of CBA Sports, I invite you to stop by our design center where you can see and play on all our products. I hope to see you soon.
You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it, we upgrade it. You dunk it, doggy bone it. <laughs> Slam it, wham it, strawberry jam it. We upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think. Welcome back, welcome back. We are ready, we are ready. Calling out the starting the lineups, the starting lineups. We'll start on the other side. Norcross, Norcross. London Johnson, Mir Panone, Samarian Bond, Jerry Dean, and Hezekiah Flagg. On the other side, the home team, the home team, Thomas Allard, Gunnar Kahlberg, R.J. Godfrey, Dylan Gary, Julian Walker. That's your starting lineup for your home team, your home North Gwinnett Bulldogs. North Gwinnett, they'll come out. They'll have on all white, all white, red numbers with the black trim. On the other side, Norcross, Norcross, they'll be in that dark Norcross blue. White numbers with eh, dark blue trim. Should have a great matchup. Coach, are you ready for this action, Coach? Man, I've been ready since I got my truck to come over here. I'm going to tell you one thing, though. Here's what I like about this game and this matchup. You got two guys that have been thinking about chess moves all, all throughout the course of the last, you know, few weeks. Now this is where your chess moves come out because we all, as coaches, have a couple tricks in our, in our bag mm. that we save for Elite Eight Final Four matchups. Here we go, here we go. Interesting matchups right here when you talk about on the sideline. Coach Matt Gardner trying to get over that hump. The Elite Eight is as far as he's advanced. Let's see if he can make it even farther. But you got the Grizzly vet over there. Jesse McMillan, Jesse McMillan, he's been to the promised land more than once in his life. Let's see what happens. Here's the tip. Playoff basketball on SUV TV. Julian Walker, he'll win it. And we'll get things going. Thomas Allard. Allard, he's a shooter coach. He knocks it down from downtown. There we go. They'll move the ball around. Gunner will have it on the outside. Gunner took the face mask off. He's playing without the mask. They'll move it back around. Dylan sends it over to Allard. Man-to-man -man defense. London Johnson, big-time point guard. Now working on the outside. There's your man, RJ, playing bully ball, going to the basket, RJ Godfrey. Can you stop that, coach? And you know what? You got Brad Brownell, his future coach at Clemson, sitting in the second row watching. And you know what? He took that thing down like he was a running back. <laughs> I said earlier, I said, uh, RJ looks like he should be going to Clemson and playing tight end. He can do both. <laughs> I'm telling you, RJ's an athlete. Here we go, three ball on the outside, bottom of the net. Hezekiah flag. And, what, and once again, the last time I watched Norcross, they got off to a cold start and wasn't able to recover against Burtmore. This is a positive sign. Hezekiah flag coming out there with a nice three. It is. Oh, turnover. Bond with the, I mean, flag with the steal. Now Hezzy. Hezzy will push it up with the Euro and put it on in. Hezekiah flag. Flag off to the hot start. Once again, we talk about cultures. This is where your culture can come in and be a huge advantage for you. Here we go. They'll send it back over to Callberg. Gunner on the outside, trying to find a law. He'll go back the other way. And London Johnson is guarding the law. Thomas Allard is a shooter in London. Oh, look at, look at Flag with another steal. That's two steals for Flag already. The behind the back. They'll send it to the big man, Jerry Dean on the outside. They'll move it over. Now working on the inside up. Can't get it to follow the tip is good. Samarian Bond. And you know what? Samarian Bond has known for a defensive presence, but he also has offensive skills. It's good to see him attacking the basket early. Now that little Norcross student body, they're on their feet. Now RJ working on the inside. They'll kick it back out. Now back to RJ. RJ. Feeling the pressure, triple team, three ball on the outside. No, doesn't go. Rebound brought down by Bond. Bond to send it over to Johnson. Johnson cut to the inside. Flag one more time. 
Hezekiah Flag. And you know what Norcross is doing a great job. They are attacking the paint, not only on turnovers, but straight up offense. They're basically just saying, we're just better than you off the dribble, and we're going to prove it all night. There's that, there's that guy, R.J. Goffrey, taking it to the hole. Sometimes the studs got to reach down and just take over, Coach. Hey, I said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. This is the time when stars must be stars. See who can shine the brightest when the stage is fully lit. Now, this is what I, I don't get now. I'm going to have right. to find out at halftime. The Norcross student body, they're holding up a Huddle House menu over on the side. I don't get that one. <laughs> Might be a Clemson reference. Might, might be. You know, this is Georgia. This is Waffle House territory. I don't know. I don't know about that huddle house they got holding up over there. He'll knock down the second one. Godfrey will split the free throws. Nine to three. Nine to three in the early going. Just over five minutes to go. Bond kicks it to the outside. Hezekiah Flag, and he gets wow. it. Hezekiah Flag with the living right roll. Nine of their first 12 points going to Hezekiah Flag. Seniors doing senior things. Free ball, Thomas Allard. You got to guard him from the time he walked in the gym. I'm telling you, he's in his range as soon as he steps on the court. All right, here we go. Mir have it on the outside. They'll move it back to Johnson. Moving it all around, trying to set that offense up. A little bit of 3-2, maybe 2-3 zone they're playing. Kind of looking like a little bit of a matchup overall. Okay. That's why he's the coach. He recognizes these things. Working on the inside. By, nice block by Walker. That's what Walker does. Walker cleans up stuff on the inside with the huge block. Godfrey spinning to the basket, lay it on the end for three. That's big boy basketball right there. That's where the elite eight basketball is all around right there. No calls on that. Stars must be stars. There you go. Let the big man work. All right, 12-8, four-point ball game. Go across on top. Now Johnson will have it. Sends it over to Flag. Flag puts it up. Flag! Flag is unstoppable! Hezekiah Flag! Hezekiah Flag says this is my half. Early going. Here we go. 12 points for Hezekiah already. He's trying to tell us he doesn't want his Blue Devil career to end tonight. I'm telling you, foot on the line. Dylan Gary step on the line, going to the basket. It'll be a turnover. We'll go the other way. Hezekiah Flag. You know what? Both teams have done a very good job attacking the paint, and they're just doing it basically off one pass, just, just you know, rev up and go. Got to be able to guard your yard mm -hmm. defensively if you want to have a chance to get three stops in a row. Oh, Hezekiah with the nice move and the dribble on the inside. London couldn't get it to go. And all of that is predicated off of the drive and getting the ball in the paint. Once the ball gets into the paint slot, I don't care who you are, Coach K, uh, John Calipari, everybody's going to help him recover, and somebody's going to be open. Johnson knocks it down. London Johnson, prize junior point guard, London Johnson, narrowing down his recruiting choices. Second free throw is good. Gary from the outside, no, can't get it. Now Johnson, Johnson will walk it up court. Here, now back to Johnson. Johnson got the instruction from Coach McMillan, and they'll set it up. On the inside, the bond now to Dang. Jerry Dang on the inside, he's just too big. Jerry's just too big right there. You can't stop that right there when you got the little guard on the big man right there. Gary, Dylan Gary puts it in for two. I tell you, North Burnett's got to be able to keep guys in front of them right now. Mm -hmm. 
Norcross shooting a very high percentage here in the first quarter. I'm telling you, I think they may have missed one shot. Three ball on the outside. Put the jinx on them, coach. Samarian Bond puts up an air ball in the student body and lets them know about it. Looked like the AC was on that. <laughs> Somebody must have opened the door when he shot that shot, coach. That cross breeze caught it. Here we go. Amaru will have it on the outside. Godfrey wants it. He's calling for it. Amaru on the outside. Oh, almost lost it. Now Godfrey will have it. Godfrey sends it back over to Amaru. Now to Godfrey. Godfrey picked up his dribble. He'll shoot the three. No. A little bit outside his range. Flag working on the outside. Flag kicks it out. Throws it over his shoulder. Allard in the open court. Allard will have it. Oh, the follow. RJ Godfrey cleaning up the boards. That young man's going to be a lot of fun to coach in college. I'm telling you. Make me almost want to, never mind. Uh, yeah, come on, nope, coach. Nope. You don't want to get, you don't want to come out of retirement, nope. coach. But players like that, I would. <laughs> Panome on the inside, can't get it. Now Godfrey will have it, and Godfrey will push it up court. Sends it over to Allard. Allard for three. No. Johnson will bring it down, and there's the long outlet to Dane. Oh, get that out of here. Another oh, one. He gets another one out of here. R.J. Godfrey. Putting on the defensive clinic. Oh, and look at him right back at him, Samarian Bond. And that's what Elite Eight basketball is. No easy layups. Nothing nice easy. shot by Bond, though. Nothing easy. Bond answers, though. Here we go. Amaru on the outside. Amaru going baseline. Kicks it over. Nice touch pass. Dylan Gary. Gary couldn't get it to go. This is playoff basketball, Coach. Three seconds to go. Two seconds in the corner. Jerry Dean, did he get it off in time? No, it doesn't go. Here we have it at the end of one. At the end of one, the score, 20 to 12. 20 to 12. Norcross on top of North Gwinnett. We're at the SUV TV game of the week. Breda Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B-R-E-D-A, Pest.com. All right, here we go. Start of the second period. Start of the second period. All I got to say, Sly, in that first quarter right there, that is what high-level 7A basketball, just high-level Georgia basketball is all about. Both teams attacking the basket, not giving anything up easy in the paint. You know what? You got to earn your points tonight. I just got to see North Gwinnett sit down and play better defense. Oh, the strong take by Pannone. Here, Pannone going to the basket strong. And Pannone evidently was listening to the scouting report because, once again, right off the dribble. Johnson bringing it back up court. They'll move it over to Mir. Mir knocks down the three. And Coach Gardner has seen enough. Coach Matt, Matt Gardner wants to call a timeout. He needs to talk some things over. I, I tell you one thing, Sly, that's the most that's the most animated I've seen Jesse McMillan in the last month. I'm telling you. Hey man, you put on the shooting performance that his kids are putting on. Hey, that's a reason to get happy. My goodness. Mm. 
Nobody wants unwanted guests taking up residence in their homes. No, we're not talking about the in-laws. Greater Pest Management protects homeowners from bugs and critters. Greater Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. See more at www.bradapest.com. That's www.bredapest.com. And I'll tell you right now, North Cornette got to be bigger pass defensively right now, <laughs> and they're going to get ran out this gym because Norcross is on fire offensively. On fire. Grovesner from the outside, couldn't get it. Inside, throw it down, two hands. R.J. Garfrey. Garfrey showed up to play tonight. I love that kid. This crowd, this crowd from North Cornette's trying to get raucous, but Norcross is keeping them at bay. Mm -hmm. Still in the pressure. Everybody on their feet on this side, on this sideline over here. I'm not even, I know I can't see it. Working on the outside. Zango have it. Now they'll move it back over to Mir. Mir going to the basket. Kicks it back out. Touch pass. Knocked out of bounds by Gary. This might be the best defensive rotation I've seen North Gwinnett have so far, and we're a minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Let me ask you a question, Coach. How long do they stay in that zone? Yeah, not much longer at, at this rate, but then again, they can't stay in front of them off the dribble. Mm. Got to go to out my bag of tricks. Let's see what happens. I think they got out of it, Coach. Nope, still in it. Three ball on the outside, bottom of the net. Jerry Dane from outside. This is the Norcross team that a lot of people have been talking about. Gunnar Colbert couldn't get it. Rebound brought down by Washington. Ball stolen away. Now Mir, Mir have it on the outside. Jerry Dane from long range. He checked. Couldn't get it. Zane with the rebound. Michael Zane will pull it back out. Zang, he'll pop for three. No. And Washington will have it. Now Washington brings it up for it to Amaru. Amaru, pump fake, gets his man off his feet, out the basket. Amaru, whoa. They, they need that right now, but North Gwinnett's got to get stops. And what I mean by stops, they got to complete the stops. They got to get the defensive rebound. They can't give up second and third possessions. Exactly. No second chance points. If you're North Gwinnett and you want to come back to this thing. But here's the thing. Norcross hadn't been missing much to give them the opportunity. Norcross has been on fire. On the inside, we got to travel. We got to travel. We'll go the other way. I'm going to tell you right now, everybody who's watching this game online, you got a better view than I do. <laughs> This student body, I can't, I can't see anything that's on the sideline. It's on the near sideline over here. I'm having to use my superpower infrared. I'm telling you, this student body, they are hype. Kickball, it'll go out of bounds. You know what? So far, what I've seen in this game, it looks like Norcross is just a little bit lively on both ends of the floor. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think they're a little bit more active. Those active hands on defense, attacking the basket, like you said, getting in the lane. Now they'll get it to RJ. RJ kicks it back out to Gunner. Now back to RJ. RJ from long range. Doesn't get it. Dylan with the rebound, and Dylan will put it up and put it in. Dylan Gary. You know what? You feel like this game should be a 20-point game. It's a 10-point game right here, four and a half minutes ago here before halftime. Still a close game. Now Johnson, Johnson on the outside. Not quite sure what was that call. I, th I think they call that one on, on Bond. Yep. I think they called it on Bond. Now Dylan on the outside. He'll send it back over. Allard trying to get it down low. Yep, that's going to be a foul. 
So sometimes you got to manufacture offense the old-fashioned way. Team fouls, good offense, get you one step closer to the free throw line. Speaking of free throws, the new rule in the GHS, a large from the corner, comes up short. This is on rebound. Kicks it out. Was it tipped away? No. Was not tipped away. Here's the thing. North Cornets missed some wide open shots that they customarily knocked down. So might be might be some jitters. They calm down. They'll be fine. They keep getting these shots here throughout the rest of the second quarter and the rest of this game. And you're right. These are shots that North Cornet usually knocks down. Uh-oh, ball poked away. Amaru in the open court. Amaru will get it. Puts his body, can't get it. Uh, Alard follows it up the three. And that's the reason why you keep running all the way down on both ends of the floor. Follow up your teammate. Now Dang. Dang sends it back out. Panom on the outside to Dang. Dang will lay it up for two. Jerry Dang. Everybody's getting involved for Norcross here in the first half. I'm telling you. Amaru going to the lane and putting it up and putting it in for two. Got to get some stops. Jones in there puts it up for two. Now they'll work it around. I'll tell you one thing. This student section is on 12 right now on the 10 scale. They wanted the five-second call, didn't get it. Flag. Flag tried to get it underneath the Jerry. And Coach, the way Flag has been playing in the first half, he doesn't need to pass the ball. He no. needs to shoot that shot. And that's also a great timeout right there by Jesse McMillan. He feels the momentum shifting. And once again, a veteran coach feeling that gets this 30-second timeout. 30-second timeout, two minutes, 36 seconds to go. It's an eight-point ball game. 30 to 22, and it has been all door cross in the early going. But here's the thing. This is where I give the culture of North Gwinnett credit. They didn't fold. Mm -hmm. They didn't try to do things that are uncustomary to what they're doing. They've continued to move the ball. They've continued to find the open guy. They just haven't hit shots at that high clip that they have been up to this point. Once again, if I'm Matt Garner, I like what we're getting offensively. We've just got to continue to build those bricks and get those stops, two and three stops in a row. Two and three stops in a row, you're right. What do they call that? Um, For me, it's, uh, three stops in a row is getting a brick because I'm building a brick. There you go. I got to build my foundation for my house. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to steal that one, Coach. I'm going to use that one. No, nah, it's already trademarked. <laughs> Callberg on the outside. Callberg, oh, get that out of here. Mia Panone gets rid of it. Johnson in the open court. Johnson, that's a travel. Great defense on the other side by Amaru Rosemary. Here's the thing, Coach, what I like to see. You get your shot blocked on one side, come back, play defense that's on what the you other gotta side. Do. It's playoff basketball. You can't, you know what? You cannot take and stack on to one mistake. You just got to get back and make up for it on the other end. Here we go. Godfrey on the outside. They'll hand it back to Alar. Now Dylan over to, over to Amaru. Over to Godfrey on the other side. Now back to Dylan. Uh oh, turnover. Flag. Hezekiah flag has been all over the place tonight. Hezekiah flag. That's his third steal in my book. I don't know about the official book, but in my book, that's his third steal. Hezekiah Flag so that he's more than a football player. Yes, he is. Kicks it to the outside to Dang. Dang a launch for three. ill shot. Now Godfrey will push it up to Dylan. Dylan. Dylan throws it up over his shoulder and he fouls. Dylan Gary will go to the line and shoot three. I tell you. Everything was going right for Norcross, right? Mm -hmm. Little by little, chip by chip, Norcross has gotten themselves back into this game. And they're doing it the old-fashioned way. First free throw good. Five points for Dylan Gary. 
And what I mean by the old-fashioned way, they're not necessarily just settling for three after three after three. They're getting the ball in transition, getting it into the paint, making the extra pass, finding the open guy. Really knocks down both of them. All right, now I'm here on the outside. Going baseline is Bond. Over the flag, now to Johnson. Johnson attacking the basket. Mm. Johnson! Wow. Phenomenal body control right there by London Johnson. Coach, that's why he's one of the best in the business. Groves are going to the basket. He's fine. Mm. Mm. That's a little gift right there. Mm, that might be the mm. bailout. Little home packaging right there. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get that call on the road, do you, Coach? No. <laughs> One of the great things, you know, we are hard on the referees. But so I, far in this matchup. I think the I think the officiating for the most part for the games that I've seen have been really good up to this point. And you know how hard that is for me to say. <laughs> People better run out and get a lot of tickets. I'm telling you. Well, start praying one because the world about to end. You better get, <laughs> you better get right. <laughs> Amaru splits up, splits the free throw. 49 seconds to go, 49 seconds to go. Johnson on the outside, they'll move it up. This is a quick game, Coach. This game has been I'm going fast. It, the way that these teams are playing, there ain't too many fouls you can call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the outside is Dang. Dang, Dang attacking the basket, taking the count off. Flag, cutting to the basket, flag, pulling it back out. Flag, nice ball handling by mm -hmm. Hezekiah Flag. Now London Johnson on the outside. Little middle pick and roll here. Working, sends it back over to Michael Zang. Michael Zang, no. Bond will get it. He'll keep the rebound. Four seconds to go. Two, one, no. Tip for it. And that'll do it. Mm, that's a good basketball game right here. At the end of the quarter, at the end of the half, the score 25-32, 25-32. Coach, what did you see in the first half, Coach? What I saw in the first half, I saw Norcross come out and try to throw a couple uppercuts to try to knock North Gwinnett out, but North Gwinnett stayed steady, Eddie, right? Didn't get out of there, didn't get out of there. Uh, their game plan, stay within their game plan. They chipped away, chipped away, has gotten this to a seven-point game. I'm looking forward to the adjustments that both Coach McMillan and Coach Garner are going to come out with in the start of this second half. I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to those adjustments too, man. Um, Coach, I, I was a little bit surprised. Mm -hmm. I think you may have seen Norcross more than I've seen Norcross this year. I only seen Norcross once this year. But Hezekiah Flagg came out on fire, Coach. Hezekiah Flagg has, has had uh, shown glimpses of that. This was the first time that I've seen Norcross play total team basketball. Well, it looked like it. It looked like it. Well, here we have it. We're at the half. The score, 32-25. 32-25. We'll see you back here on the SUV TV game. Elite outdoor living spaces. From a single court to your own backyard fantasy, we can do any or all to accommodate your yard, your budget, and your lifestyle. As president of CBA Sports, I invite you to stop by our design center where you can see and play on all our products. I hope to see you soon. Get more from your box score with Cerebro Sports, the official analytics partner of SUV TV. Start with stats with Cerebro Sports and make every game count. Visit CerebroSports.com for more information and check us out at all SUV TV events. Breda Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B-R-E-D-A, pest.com.
people say, what do you think about when you shoot? Come on, Steph. You gotta make your first shot. To know what a perfect shot feels like, you have to earn that. That love for basketball and natural ability, it can only take you so far. The real work is what people don't see. Hours and hours and hours and reps every single day. At the time, you don't really know if it's gonna pay off. Curry fire. But you kinda have the faith and belief that it will. Perfecting that craft, when I know the feeling that flows from your feet all the way to the top of the release and then you just kind of let the rest go. And so when people say, what do you think about when you shoot? I'm like, absolutely nothing.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're here at halftime here at North Gwinnett High School. Got us a good one going on. 32-25, 32-25. Norcross on top of North Gwinnett. I'm Slider Sports Guy, joined by the one and only Coach Lewis Preston. Coach Preston, what happened in that first half, Coach? Some things that stuck out to me. First of all, Hezekiah Flagg, just once again, he he drew his line in the sand and said, I was going to be 100% in attack mode. Did a great job. He scored 11 of their first 14 points and everything and kind of got the ball rolling there for Norcross. But once again, I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times, Matt Garner's done a great job of building culture, right? And he continued to stick with his guns. Thomas Hallett with a couple of threes. R.J. Godfrey doing what he's doing, both on the inside and the outside. Here's what I'm excited about. I love the first three minutes of the third quarter because you get an opportunity to see what type of adjustments have been made by teams. Matt Garner's done some of the best adjusting that I've seen throughout the course of 7A this past year. Very few times I think he's been down at the half. So this is going to be a great test for North Gwinnett coming out, right? Once again, Norcross, if they can continue to attack the basket and share the ball and get their open guys, open shots, they keep knocking down shots, they're going to get out of here with a victory. It's so, it's so interesting you bring up those first three minutes. Uh, a good friend, uh, our good friend, Coach Barry Browner, he used to call it something. I forgot what he used to call it. It was called the Barry's Barometer. Barry's Barometer. I'm telling you, man, those first three minutes in that half are so huge. So now we'll find out. This is what I like to say. We're going to find out which one of these coaches are earning their money. Yeah. We're, we're going to find that one out. Absolutely. Yeah. It, because once again, we have an established championship coach with an established championship pedigree in Norcross. And you have the up-and-comer who's ready to get up on that mantle and try to get this team to the Final Four for the first time in school history. Well, here we have it. Here's the inbound to get things going. And they got to get me back up on my feet because these fans keep standing. That's what it's all about. Uh-oh, that's a bad way to start off the half. Wow, He'll turn over off already. the leg. It'll go off the leg of R.J. Godfrey. All right, on the outside, ball stolen oh. away by Gary. Gary will get it up to Allen. Allen moves it over in the corner. Now Allen. Allen sends it back over to Gunner. Gunner back to RJ. RJ going to the basket. RJ. Nice. RJ went down. He went down in the paint like he was going down Broad Street. Wide open. Wide open. Hey, but, but Coach, that's a big man. I, I don't know too many people want to step in hey, front of him. Hey, I'm taking a charge. This is championship basketball. I'm trying to get a ring. You know what I'm saying? I can recover in the off season. Wow. We got slider sports guy up on the stanchion, up on the chair, everything. <laughs> coach, you, you're the one who about 6'7", Coach. I'm 5'11". I got to do coach. what I need to do. Once again, you said this before, Julian Walker there changing another shot for North Gwinnett. Thomas Allard. Thomas no conscience at all, Thomas puts it up. London going to the basket, up and over, couldn't get it to go in. Jerry Dean fighting the rebound, and Jerry Dang will put it in for two. And once again, second chance. Once you got to finish possessions by getting rebounds. Second chance opportunities, advantage Norcross. They're going to call up foul off to Marion Bond. I thought that foul was on Jerry Dean, to be honest with you. They'll get it into Godfrey. Now Godfrey over to Callberg. Gary. They're, front, they're putting the front and the back on RJ every time he gets, goes down to the block. But you want to know something else that we haven't talked about a lot? RJ is 0 for 3 from long range. One of the things that I haven't talked about, London Johnson's done a very good job on Thomas Allard. He has stuck to him like glue all night. I'm telling you, I think at halftime, Thomas Allard went to the bathroom and London handed him the toilet tissue. Wow. Another turnover right there by North Burnett. Not okay. And North Cross gives it right back. Now RJ in the open court, RJ. Puts it up, gets his own rebound. Wow. 
Big boy basketball being played up here in dog country in North Burnett right now. I'm telling you, somewhere that Clemson coach is down there smiling. He might not be smiling if he goes over into another building. <laughs> now Flag will have it on the outside. Now back to Johnson. I think, I think Norcross needs something out of London Johnson right now offensively. Yeah. London has been quiet. He has four points. One field goal and two free throws. Bond, the baseline jumper, no. King will get the rebound, push it up. Can't put it in. Flag almost got the steal. Now Allen will have it in the open court. Allen. Allen spinning to the basket. Kicks it back out to Godfrey. Touch pass in the corner to Gunner. Gunner can't get it to go. Need one of those, Gunner. He's going to be wide open all night. They playing percentages. Five point ball game. Just under five minutes to go in the quarter. They'll get it to Jerry Dean. Jerry Dean, fall away jump. Oh, ball. tough shot. Jerry Dean. And Jesse McMillan calls that timeout. He don't. He wants to change that momentum back. Cause that momentum getting up and down. That favors North Burnett. He wants to slow things down. But Jerry Dane with the tough fall away jumper. He just made it look so sweet, so easy, so pretty. And Jerry. you know what, right now, they got a 30-second timeout, 36-29, 4.47 left to go. It's kind of been more turnovers here in the first four, and a, or first three, almost three and a half minutes than we probably saw in the first half altogether. So some jitters right there. But once again, it's a seven-point game. It hasn't changed any differently to what it was like at half. So North Burnett's just got to keep chipping away, but they got to get three stops in a row, get the rebound, and then go down to the other end and do what they do well. Sounds good, Coach. Sounds good. Here we go. This student section has been, they've been ready to blow the lid off this building. They haven't been able to yet. Here we go, Walker. They'll send it back over to RJ. Now to Dylan. Back out to Olive. And London is playing a tough game over on Thomas Olive. Oh, oh time to throw it up to Walker. Yeah. Eli back. There's the alley. Throw it down. Near Panone. Panone goes up to the top floor and comes wow. down with the dunk. One you throw too high, you, one you throw perfectly. That's what live pass is supposed to look like. Uh-oh, stolen away by Bond. Now Bond to Panone. Over the flag, flag, no, can't get it. Panoma will get the rebound and pull it back out. Bond, the slaughter comes up short. Great defense right there by R.J. Goffin. This kid is a, is a horse. He plays it on both sides. Nice. Coast to coast, Broad Street was open once again. And now this time, Coach, Coach Gardner calls timeout. Coach Gardner has to call that timeout. He wants to get a full timeout right here to kind of calm the troops down. Here we go. Breeder Pest Management proudly supports Georgia High School basketball. The Breeders believe in giving back to the communities they serve. Since 1975, Breeder has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at www.breederpest.com. That's www.breedapest.com. I tell you one thing, this this crowd got me on my feet right now. I'm, I'm kind of trying to stay in the groove with the cheerleaders right now. I'm telling you, man, they got it rocking. They had the, uh, I don't know what was that, the dance crew came out here and yep. dance. Hey, man, this, this is something else I noticed, man, about a big-time matchup. You got the stars out here. They must have heard Coach Lewis Preston was in the house. Well. Got, what's the kid from Collins Hill? Of the the uh, the power forward from Collins Hill standing over there. Okay. He, he's come down. Got see. Ethan Davis over there. Ethan Davis is over here. He looked like he forgot his shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you got well, you got the muscles right here. Yeah, you know, yeah. All, yeah. These, all these young bucks out here. You go you go sleeveless. You go sleeveless. Okay. I went sleeveless back in my day. Coach. Okay. All right. I didn't even know what a sleeve was. I you was, know what? I was just dunking on people. No <laughs> sleeves. I was just straight tank tops. No <laughs> sleeves, with sleeves, people getting dunked on. <laughs> Here we go. Three minutes, 40 seconds to go in the third. North Cross up by seven. Ball almost poked away, but we'll stay down here. Looked like that uh, North Cross wanted to kind of run some old uh, John Wooden UCLA action right there with that 
up screen at the elbow going to a ball screen. Okay. Now they'll move it back around. Johnson in the corner. Johnson side step three ball. That's a huge shot. I told shot. you that I told you that London Johnson had to step up and do it. And once again, he extends his lead out to 10 points. Beautiful three-point shot. Now Omaru will have it on the outside. Omaru spins back, gives it to Dylan Gary. Dylan from the outside. No. Rebound by, uh-oh, Julian Walker with the steal. Back to Amaru, and Amaru will pull it back out. Amaru sends it over in the corner. And they're going to call a foul. Good call by the official. Got to see what Norcross, what, what that foul situation looks like. I this think is, this might be a key in the fourth quarter now. But both teams play relatively clean games. All the way three, no good. Once again, London Johnson is on Thomas Allard. He hadn't gotten a, a clean look since midway through the four, first quarter. I'm telling you. Short. Now Allard will have it in the open court. Godfrey, Godfrey. Ooh. And Hezekiah Flag says not today. That's a good call. That's a good call. So I got Jack right there. I know Jack gonna make the right call. I'm not even worried about that. Okay. Jack is high level. high level. I know what Jesse's doing over there. He's trying to set the tone here for the last two and a half minutes. Getting in the referees here. Yep. All, all gamesmanship right here. Jesse with the illustrious beard. Let the beard grow outside. I, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> he might be trying to get a part on Yellowstone or something. I'm telling you, man. If they don't handle business, he'll have time because the season will be over with. Ten-point ball game. I know, you, I know you don't know what the show Yellowstone is. I but, love Yellowstone. Oh. Don't, don't tell me. I love Yellowstone. Here we go. Here we go. I love Yellowstone. The Dutch Ranch. And I was on Yellowstone from the beginning. Okay. I was too. I'm a big Kevin Costner fan. Here you go. Nice stop underneath the dang. Dang, good yeah. hit it. He got five. That's a good call, Jack. Jerry Dane will go to the free throw line. Doesn't get the first one. Dang has 11 points. Well, you know what? He hasn't. He's forced up a couple shots, but for the most part, he's been doing what he does well. Missed both those free throws, though. That can come back to honor. That could be huge, Coach. That could be huge. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go. Now Dylan Gary on the outside. Sends it over to Washington. Watch it down low. Nice. Down. Oh, nice. RJ Godfrey has totally no regard for the rim. No regard whatsoever. The backboard supports are still shaking. Now a flag on the outside. Now over to Zang. Michael Zang. Michael sends it back to flag. They'll send it to Jerry Dang. Now inside the mill. Mia lost it. No flag to get it. Flag blocked by RJ. RJ not going home easily. RJ. And there's the five. You know what? <laughs> Mia stepped in front of that locomotive. That's <laughs> what you got to do is play off basketball, baby. You can worry. You can worry about scrapes, cuts, bruises. You can worry about that in the all season. Dylan on the outside. This is when to go home. Ball tapped away. I like the toughness out of here for them. But here's the thing. It's still the same seven-point lead. Yep. This would be a great opportunity for North Cornette to get that thing below seven and put some added pressure on Norcross. Yes. Yes. Added pressure. 
a minute 17 to go in the third period. Okay, we got the young man finally, finally at a gym to have some towels. They're cheering on the towel boy down there. To don't even get me started. That should be a GHSA rule. A minimum of 10 towels. Exactly. Yeah, underneath stanchions. So much time wasted, everybody looking for a towel to wipe the floor. I might start a towel business. <laughs> Dylan Gary on the outside. He'll send it to Law. Now Washington back to Gary. Gary over to Amaru. Amaru from outside. No. Ethan Washington will get the rebound. They'll send it to RJ. RJ on the inside. Beautiful. They finally got it below seven points with just under a minute to go here in the third quarter, 41 to 36. RJ just too deep. Oh, boy. Here comes that North Gwinnett student behind him. This is playoff basketball. Johnson on the outside. Johnson attacking the basket. Blocked by Washington. Ball blocked by Long. Now they're going the other way. Dillon's in the corner. They didn't see him. He was wide open in the corner. Tied up, tied up, jump ball. That's a great call. It's a great call. Great call right there. And here's the thing. Dillon, ran, Dillon Gary ran to the corner, and he was wide open in and the so corner. And so was Thomas Allard. Allard was wide open on the wings. Amaru, you got to pick your head up. Got to see the double team coming. London Johnson on the outside. Johnson. Johnson. Kicks it out to Zay. But we have a foul. Ooh. Well, I don't know about that one, Coach. 3.5 seconds mm. to go. I thought we'd get some home cooking on our one. That, that was a tough one right there. Yeah. They had to call that all night long. I know. Here we go. 3.5 seconds to go. Five-point game. They'll get it into Zang. Zang. Zang lost it. And that'll do it. Here we have it, Coach. Score 36-41. 36-41 going into the fourth and final quarter here on SUV TV. Breda Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B-R-E-D-A, Pest.com. Get more from your box score with Cerebro Sports, the official analytics partner of SUV TV. Start with stats with Cerebro Sports and make every game count. Visit CerebroSports.com for more information and check us out at all SUV TV events. All right, we're back. Fourth and final period. Fourth and final quarter here on SUV TV. And right now, Norcross, Norcross on top of North Gwinnett. They'll move it over in the corner to Amaru. Amaru, Amaru falling away from the basket. No. Dylan Gary gets the rebound, puts it up, and puts nice. it in. Three-point game. Got it down to one possession here with seven and a half to go. I love it. Which culture is going to end up on top here? Working on the outside is Johnson. London Johnson, London kicks it to the outside. Michael Sang, no, couldn't get it. Might need to get him out the game. North with him with a chance to If he's die. not knocking down shots, what does he bring to the table? Got to get him out. Oh, good That's defense. a foul. That's a foul. Oh, I thought that was good defense, Coach. What? I thought it was good defense. He wasn't bleeding, Coach. Oh, that's a travel. That was a travel. Well, that's a four-point swing right there. Washington will have it. They're working down to RJ. 
And that's a clean block. The B-Birds do not like it. Bond, Bond attacking the basket. <laughs> the Bluebirds are out. Yeah. I tell you what. <laughs> what do you happen when both sides say the ref is cheating for the other side? <laughs> but that means it's an even game. <laughs> mm, Samari on by, he did go down hard right there. Looked like he turned that ankle. Now that is huge. That that's that's critical. Because he is their best defensive presence on the floor. They'll get it into Johnson. Now back out the flag. Flag's been quiet. Three ball from the corner. Gut and go. Godfrey with the rebound. Boy, I'll tell you. Godfrey's hands, his balance. Three ball. No. Mm. Boy. They've had some wide open looks that they haven't been able to knock down. It'll go the other way. And that is very uncharacteristic for the North Burnett Bulldogs. Right. Usually when they are open, mm -hmm. those shots are going down. Exactly. Once again, it's standing room only in here tonight. And everybody's standing. Yep. <laughs> Godfrey on the baseline. He'll kick it back out. Dylan. Dylan with the long range three. Doesn't get it to fall. They have gotten cold. It's like a lid on the basket right now. Somebody shut it off for the Bulldogs. And it's so disheartening when you make the defensive stops and you can't capitalize yeah. on the offensive side. They, they're building bricks on one end and not being able to capitalize on the other. They're building bricks on one end and shooting bricks on the other. Uh, I was going to stay away from that. <laughs> mm. Foul on the outside. Five minutes, 27 seconds to go. This might be the fastest high school game I've ever been a part of. This, is, this thing is moving fast. Let's hope the refs don't slow it down in the fourth quarter. Jerry Dang on the outside, being guarded by God. Now Dang, Dang from long range. I don't know about that shot. Though. No. Both of them are rim, rim is tight. Dylan from the outside. Huge shot. And the and foul. He got the foul. Count the basket. Give him the three-point shot. And wow. the foul. I'm telling you. He sold that one, Coach. Oh. He stuck that leg out. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. And this crowd goes crazy. I've been saying that this student section has been ready to blow the roof off the building. Makes his free throw. It's a one-point game with just under five minutes to go. This is what championship basketball is supposed to look like. Here we go. One point ball game for Four. the culture. Here we go. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Coach McMillan did not call a timeout. Uh-oh. Okay. Now yep. Here we go. Here we go. This is, hey, this is where stars got to be stars. I'm telling you, somebody has to step up. Who's going to step up? Johnson will have it on the outside. He'll move it back over to Mir. Mir Panom, he'll bring it back out. Send it back over to the point guard. Now Johnson. London Johnson. London. London. Up and under. London. No. Rebound by Allen. Now North Gwinnett has a chance for their first lead of oh the game. Oh, boy. North Gwinnett hasn't led since they've led 2-0. I'm telling you, they take this lead. I'm telling you, the, the roof is coming off this building. We're going to bring out. So I better call the fire marshal. We're going to bring out Parliament from the belly. 
Tear the roof off the sucker. Tear the roof off the sucker. These kids are going to tear the roof off and they score. Washington on the inside. Washington shoves it under the Godfrey. Ball stolen away. Godfrey will have it. Godfrey spinning on the inside. Godfrey. No. Washington puts it up and puts it in. Ethan Washington. With 4.09 to go. North Burnett has their first lead since 2-0. 2-0. Now we're going to see what Noah Cross is really all about. Because this place is on a 12 scale. My goodness. We got four generations of fans up in here I'm from North Burnett. I got grandmama standing on their feet That's right now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they tried to make me buy property out here. Oh, the free throw no good. Mm. Got Samari and Bond back in the game. Once again, like I said, stars got to be stars. Now London Johnson will have it. London, London is fine. Nice. And I like this now. London, London says now it's my time. Yeah. London says now it's my time. But what, what was the smart thing right there, Sly? Right? He didn't try to force anything. He kept the player on his hip, forced the ref to have to make a call right there. Got it. Got the ball up on the rim, having an opportunity to shoot too. First free throw is good. London Johnson was made for this. Here we go. Second free throw for London. He knocks down both of them. He's as cold as ice cream. Here we go. Timeout by Norcross. 3.50 to go. 45. <laughs> now, Coach, Coach, we're going to yeah. leave it here now, Coach. Uh -huh. You're, you're a coach. You, you've been doing this for a long time. Something I've never understood, though. Right. Now, explain to us why Jesse called that timeout that, that time. Because you know what? you got to get your team calmed down here. They, North Gwinnett has fought all the way back to take the lead. Then you are able to get the lead back. Now you got to start thinking about and, and start taking and putting together your next two to three offensive and defensive possessions right here. Mm. Once again, you gotta get the ball in the right player's hands down the stretch. Stars need to be stars. There you go. Now here's something else. Stars need to be stars. Stars need to be stars. You have 16 points so far from RJ Goff. He's at, he's at, oh, I'm sorry, not 16, 18 points. 18 mm -hmm. points for RJ Goff. He's at nine in the first. And he's had nine so far in the second. Now, is it R.J. Godfrey time? Yeah. If you're, you're, if you're North Burnett, R.J. Godfrey has to touch this ball. You know what? And the thing is, because of the fact that London Johnson's had to spend, expend so much energy offensively, is this going to allow Thomas Allard to get open for a couple open looks here late in this game? Because I'm telling you, London Johnson's done a phenomenal job on Allard here. I'm telling you, all game long, mm -hmm. London Johnson has been there. I, I guarantee you, when Thomas when Thomas goes to sleep tonight, London's going to turn the light out. He's been all around them all game long. Nice yep. curl action right there. They'll throw it over. Dylan Gary on the outside. No. And London gets the rebound. What I love about London Johnson the way he affects the game, he is a point guard. He didn't have to score a lot tonight, but he's been playing defense. He's getting those loose balls. London, I like him as a point guard. All right, and once again, I've said this. How do you impact winning without scoring? London Johnson showing you that tonight by doing a lot of the little things. That's why he's one of the best in the nation. Oh, nice step, step back. back. Oh, count the basket. It's London time. It is London Johnson time. Mm. Big time players make big time plays. 11 points for London Johnson. That's a travel. Three ball from Amaru. Jerry Dean with the rebound. Two minutes, 55 seconds to go. I would run all middle pick and roll for London Johnson right here. I run all middle pick and roll. Let's see what happens. Man-to-man -man defense from North Gwinnett. Panoma have it. They're trying to get him free. They're trying to get London free. 
They'll get it to flag. Nice cut on the inside to Dang. Dang. Nice. With the basket, Jerry Dang. That's a nice play right there. Two nice play drawn up right there. A little misdirection right there. Throw it into the post. Post guy turns his head. Dean cuts right down the middle right there for the old school three-point play potential. Yes, sir. And Jerry you know Dang. what? Here's the crazy thing. North Gwinnett took that lead ever since then. It, it could be a 7 nothing run over the last minute and 15 seconds right here by Norcross. This is one of my things, one of my things, one of the things that they say, do you spend, did they spend too much energy making the comeback? That's what you, you hear a lot, you hear a lot uh, of people say. Got to make those free throws. In the corner, Gunner, back to Dylan. Got to find RJ. They got to find RJ. Now, Allard, I have it on the outside. RJ, Gunner up top. Amaru, Amaru. Tried to force it. In the open court, throw it down. Pierre Mapanone. Panone with the two-hand throw down. Been an eight nothing run ever since they took that lead. And the student body from Norcross, they're going crazy now. It has been, it has been a, a magnificent game. Tell me. Get it back over now, Lord. A Lord. The three ball. Doesn't go. Gary. Dylan. Gary underneath the basket with the hoop and some horn. Old-fashioned three-point play because, once again, both sides are not finishing off possessions, getting the defensive rebounds. Second opportunities are going to lead to higher percentage shots. Second chance points are keeping North Carlson, I mean, North Burnett in this game. Dylan Gary with a chance for three the old-fashioned way. I'm going to tell you, whenever, whoever falls short in this game, it's not going to be because of lack of opportunities. A minute and 50 seconds to go. A minute and 50 seconds to go. North Cross up by four. Working on the outside. London Johnson from long range. The dagger. Oh, my goodness. The dagger. London Johnson. Wow. London Johnson trying to end it. I told you stars got to be stars. London Johnson's come up big here in the fourth quarter. Amaru from the outside. Oh, and he answers back. Right back at you. Amaru throws the nerve. Right back at him. Woo. Which I might not have a voice tomorrow. No, my voice is going to be fine. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's too exciting. I don't lose my voice until state championship play. Man, this is state championship atmosphere right here. I coach. tell you, it, it, it is state championship caliber. But once again, we said it down about all four matchups in the Elite 8 and 7A. Yes. Yes. We got any word on that Grayson uh, Burt Bar score? Our tech research staff. I'm telling you, referee, referees getting together with a minute 18 to go. They know how big this game is, too. They got to make sure they're on point. Word is, Burt Mar did win. Burt Mar did win, didn't get a final. We're going to have to uh, find our research there. Wow, that's a huge road win for Greg Phillip and his staff. I'm telling you, trying to get back to the state championship. They, they were runners up last year. They were runners up to this tough Milton team. They would love to see Milton again in that state championship. We'll find out tomorrow if Milton will keep going. Here we go. Pebblebrook might have something to say about that. I had to call Colin Sexton to get a ticket. I'm telling you, that's the hardest ticket to get in town tomorrow. Here we go. One minute. One minute to go. 35 seconds to go. There's the Kyle flag. They'll send it to Pannon. Now Pannon. They'll send it to Barnes. The Dane. Dane. He blew the layup. Oh, boy. Pannon gets the rebound. Wow. And they call a foul. They did. 
But once again, what have I told you once if I haven't told it a set of a thousand times all game? You gotta secure the rebound. Got to. Oh my goodness. Coach, you called it second chance points, coach. You have harped on it all day long. Now, uh, Mir is 0 for 2 from the free throw line. He's 0 for 2. Let's see what happens. Wow. Makes it a three-point game. Knocks this one down right here. It's a two-possession game with 24.3 seconds left. The crowd does not affect them at all. Here we go. Mm. He knocks down both of them. 20 seconds to go. RJ, RJ, kicks it out to Gunner. Gunner for three. No good. RJ with the rebound. RJ puts it up. Puts it in. Big boy basketball. RJ Godfrey. RJ Godfrey with the putback. That old fashioned three point play opportunity right here that could bring it to within a one point game with 11. Changed my last name. I'm, I might lose my voice too. <laughs> and this is the type of excitement we bring you on SUV TV. Because I love watching big men do what big men need to do. You know what? You know what Coach McMillan just did. He called the timeout. Is that a little bit of gamesmanship? Is he trying to put the ice on him? Nah. Is he yeah. Trying to ice him? He's trying to put the ice on him, but they got to figure out how to get this ball in, right? Once again, they got to be strong with the ball because they might try to go for the steal, all depending on how they call it. And here's the thing when it comes to knowing the rules of the game, uh -huh. Coach. If Godfrey hits this free throw, the inbounder, he can run the sideline. Exactly. Kids must know and must understand he can run the sideline, and if he gets in trouble, somebody can run out of bounds and catch it out of bounds. Here's my question. How many timeouts is no cross? I think that may have been their I last that's timeout. It. I think that's it. Oof. I'm not sure about that one. But he's, he has to set up the offense. Yep. He, wants to set that in, he wants to set that inbounds play up. But the way both teams have been grabbing offensive rebounds, you might want to be careful about that one coming I'll off the you, board. I tell you, y'all got me way past, got me up way past my bad time on the other side of the state. Hey. But it's well worth it. Yes, what it's worth. Well it, worth it. TV doesn't do this environment justice right now. I'm telling you. I think it's a North Cross home game from all the North. <laughs> what did he call? I don't know what. I, I'm at a loss. Okay, he, he's gonna call a foul on, on Colbert. Wow. I didn't even see a foul. I didn't see it. And that's definitely the wrong guy to call. <laughs> London Johnson is cool as the other side of the pillow, coach. We're gonna find out now in this hostile environment. Oh, boy. That's that living right role, Coach. Man, I'm telling you. You get that role when you've been living right, Coach. That's that living right role. Here was the thing. Watching him in the regional final against Burtmar, he scored 14. He scored it all in the second half. He's kind of done it almost the same way. He's just been a monster here in the fourth quarter. Oh, then they hit no rim. They need a three. Seven seconds to go. Oh, yeah. They'll Set it up. They'll call a timeout with five seconds. You know what? You know what I run right here? I run a little elevator action for Thomas Allen. A little misdirection, a little zipper into an elevator action. Elevators where you're five and you're four, close it in, right? Get him that wide open look. If I'm going to end my season, I'm going to end my season on my best three-point shooter. <laughs> 
Here's the thing. Uncharacteristically, North Gwinnett has only hit three three-pointers this game. Right. I that, haven't. Yeah, go ahead. I don't think that's ever happened. Right. I'm going to go back to something even crazier. Does Jesse tell him to foul? Yep. As long as he's not up behind the three-point line. Yeah. As long as he's not behind the three-point line, go ahead and foul. No, but when they get the ball in and they miss the run in the play, get the foul and see if they can make both. Or he might make the first, try to miss the second, get the rebound. I mean, it's a lot of gamesmanship to go on here right now. A lot of gamesmanship. Well, we're going to find out, Coach. 5.4 seconds to go. Wow. Grovetown eliminated Wheeler. 82-76 in overtime. Wow. I bet you there's some people at Westlake who are very happy right now. <laughs> Wow. Was that at Grove Town? That was at Grove Town. That's that coin flip. It's hard going down to the CSRA. Here we go. 5.4 seconds to go. Callberg will take it out. They'll get it into Amaru. In the corner. Three Bucket. ball. Oh. He was And that's the ball game. Whoa, 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 whoa. No foul, no nothing. That's the ball game. Wow. That's a great game. What a game. What a game. <laughs> and North Cross waves bye-bye wow. to the North Gwinnett student body. North Gwinnett waves bye-bye. Look at Jesse McMillan over there with the student section. Jesse right there with the students. The section. most animated I've ever seen him as long as I've known him as a coach. My goodness, what a ball game, coach. Big time win right there. I said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Stars had to be stars, and London Johnson earned his stars tonight. London Johnson is a star. I'm telling you, and, and let's, let's see what he ended up with. He ended mm. up with 16 points. 16 points. He had 14 of them in the second half, Coach. Well, I'm going to tell, yeah. I'm, I'm tell you this right now, though. I said that I will live or I'll die with my best three-point shooter, and it was Allard who had the shot down there in the corner. Just came up a little bit short. But I'm trying to figure out the design of that play, Coach. It's like I, I thought they wanted to set up that elevator right. screen action, and it, it, it wasn't there. It was actually an old-school rip action right there. They got it over to Amaru. Amaru drives a baseline. And you always, it's the old European pass down in the corner. He was wide open, just didn't have the shot fall down. He had a tough shooting night tonight. Tough shooting night, but you got to give a lot of that to London Johnson. Yes. There was a reason it was yeah. a tough shooting night. Right. <laughs> and London Johnson was that reason. London Johnson was that dude tonight. Uh, I mean, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. I did not see... Noah Cross as a Final Four team. After what I saw at Burtmar, I'm going to tip my hat to Jesse McMillan. I'm going to tip my hat to Lance Stores, to that entire staff, because they did a phenomenal job game planning for this. R.J. Godfrey got his. He did. He did. But there's some other guys who, who have been consistent all year that came up a little short tonight. And those are the little things that are difference between winning and losing. And it all came down to a one-possession game. Godfrey ended up with 21 points. 21 points for R.J. Godfrey. Like I said, London Johnson. London Johnson had 16. Mir, Mir Panom, Panom had 13. Jerry Dang, Jerry Dang had 13 also. Hezekiah Flagg had all 12 in the first quarter. Mm. The first quarter, Hezekiah had 12. On the other side, Dylan Gary. Dylan Gary. 15 points. Yep. 15 points. And Amaru, Amaru Grove, Grosvenor. He had 12. Coach, exciting game. What a game here on SUV TV. Any final thoughts before we get out of here? That was a high-level basketball game. I feel bad that a team had to lose if both teams played well. 
But Coach Gorn is going to go back and look at that game. There's going to be some empty possessions that he's going to wish he had back. I, once again, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. I take my salute to Jesse McMillan, to the culture of Norcross basketball, because I didn't think they had it in them. Not only did they have it in them, they come into a very hostile North hostile. Gwinnett environment. Hostile. Probably one of the most hostile environments I've seen all year and get a 58-55 win. What a game. What a game. Well, I'm Sly, the sports guy. He's Coach Lewis Preston, our wonderful producer handling everything. To Neil Woody, this is it for the SUV TV game of the week. Norcross, Norcross takes out North Gwinnett. 58-55, 58-55, North Gwinnett, I mean Norcross will advance to the Final Four. We'll see you tomorrow here on SUV TV.